Namibia Rural Development Programme, NRDP, worked with Comeho Namibia Development Agency, Skillshare International and the UK Big Lottery Fund to strengthen very small businesses as part of a comprehensive programme to promote sustainable livelihoods in some of the poorest parts of Namibia. The programme aimed to integrate health, sanitation, food, livelihoods and alternative technology initiatives so that marginalised communities could be assisted towards sustainable development. The social credit programme was built around small business groupings which came together as savings and credit groups as the businesses could not afford individual collateral for loans. The initial savings period was a time when business training could be given, health issues such as sanitation and HIV AIDS could be addressed, mutual assurance could be built and a savings pattern could be developed prior to regular loan repayments. Loans were then given from a social credit fund with larger loans available on successful repayment. The businesses that we have been seeing are in Rundu, but we go to Oshineni in the Kalahari to hear from Margaret Hausiku about the benefit of the loans have brought to individual small businesses there. Uh, we are the business of Salome, Ms. Salome Kamanguma. She is a beneficiary of the loan from NRDP. In, uh, her first loan was in 2002. And uh, she started very, very small, step by step. So uh, growing her business. She is very, very grateful for the help she got from NRDP. So she, she bought her pots and kettlers and all the things that she can use. She also built the structure which is standing here. And she said that she has a big tent. She has a mobile catering. When she got um, business uh, or contract outside to give catering, so she used her tent to go and cater. So she is in a second phase of the, the, the loan and she's about to finish. So these are the women that uh, in Oshinene has received this uh, loan from uh, NRDP to start their businesses and they are progressing very well. Even though they say that there are some uh, 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 obstacles like uh, uh, the rain when the rain comes, so they cannot really um, uh, uh, do their business as it supposed to be. Because there are some that don't have the structure where they can sit when it is raining, so causing them to, to remain to remain home and not to, uh, to to come and do their businesses. They have also some challenges that uh, they are facing. The challenge of uh, group pressure seems to have a big problem for those who are forerunners, and there are those who have not yet started. The Parker um, Market is part of the township of Kababis. The industrial centre and markets was built by the Ministry of Trade and Industry and it provides shop premises and work premises for small businesses. The variety of small businesses is very wide and we have interviewed several of them who sought loan support from NRDP. It is noticeable that in the late afternoon not many people are around. This is because the economy of Gababis and particularly its suburbs is very dependent on the overall economy and very little money is available between the 5th of each month and the 25th of each month. Business is good at the end of the month, but in between times it is not easy and so the businesses value the loan support which is offered through the small business loan scheme. We are standing at uh, Class Dalekis, um, the business of Ms. Adelaide um, uh, Nganate. She started in 1996 
with the business. In 2008, she got help from NRD to uh, strengthen her business. Out of the loan, she bought um, a meat cutting machine um, where she added because it was, it was quite uh, expensive, more, more than what she had received. So she's in the milk and meat cutting we business. We are in Kobabi Springs and Kopiers, um, uh, the business run by Mr. Sakis Bason, who is also the chairperson of the NRDP um, uh, group in Kobabi. So he's running this business for, for four years now. And uh, so he's running it from the Ministry of Trade and Industry Business Unit in Kobabis. And he got a loan from NRDP to start his business. The first one he used it to buy materials and to establish his business. And uh, the turnover before he got the loan was between five to six thousand per month. And now it is uh, um, uh, eight to nine to nine thousand per month after he got the loan. So far in this video, the social credit groups were individual small businesses that came together to form the savings and credit groups. But at the San Resettlement Farm in the Kavango, the business projects were more community in nature, being formed to meet the needs of a community that is many kilometres away from a town or even village. These community businesses operate to community demand but are also beginning to gain orders from surrounding farms. John Moremi reports. Okay, uh, this is the um, bread making project. It's also having the, uh, this is baked by the local people, the first owned by the local people. So if the main idea is that, you know, uh, uh, for balanced diets, and also to get the bread, the nearest town is almost 100, 100 kilometers. And that makes it very difficult to access the bread. So with this project here, it is able to uh, supply bread to the resettlement farm. And also uh, uh, mainly to the kids and also to the elderies. And to everyone at Bravo. It's also a source of uh, income for this, this project. Um, Okay, uh, uh, this is the uh, brick making project, uh, which is also owned by the local people, head by John himself, as you see him on the screen. Uh, they produce uh, bricks uh, based on the de uh, demand. Once there's the demand, then they supply the bricks. And uh, to date, all, most of the bricks is which they, uh, the group of fabricators has been purchased by the project, and also that has been used to construct like our community center and also our tax shop. Also, some we use also to, um, to construct our water tank. And not only the project does uh, purchase the, the brick from the, uh, the project, at the moment they have also uh, orders from the uh, nearby farms to supply the bricks for the construction purposes.